one simple drawer and within it 20 carefully prepared specimens. This drawer along with thousands of others in Landcare Research's large, secure and custom-built facility reveal a staggering 6.5 million invertebrate specimens from both New Zealand and neighbouring Pacific Island countries. Landcare Research's arthropod collection is the most complete of all land-based invertebrate collections in New Zealand and is a vital cog of the country's scientific infrastructure. It represents um, the diversity of what we have in New Zealand and we also have a Pacific collection and collection from uh, a few other countries as well and because all the specimens are labelled and um, to some extent identified um, we can tell we've got a record of what is here in New Zealand now we've also got a historical record of what has been here in the past so that involves not only the native species but also the ones that have found their way into New Zealand at various times in the past and are continuing to do so now. New Zealand has a distinctive and diverse land invertebrate fauna, with over 80% of the estimated 30,000 species being endemic and found nowhere else in the world. Less than 20% of endemic species have adequate scientific descriptions. Biosystematic studies on poorly known groups are revealing the presence of many new species, as well as species introduced mainly through the actions of humans. And sometimes we don't even know whether some of the things that we have found in New Zealand are actually belong here and natives, or whether they are introduced species that may be having some harmful effects. So, so that's part of the work that, that we do in, in uh, sorting and, and curating and in working on the collection as taxonomists. Our research underpins the sustainable use and management of biodiversity. Current projects focus primarily on catalogues and taxonomic revisions, targeting groups of importance to end users or to the understanding of New Zealand's unique fauna. These studies are combined with molecular approaches, phylogenetic methodologies and innovative methods of data analysis and delivery. The collection is recognised as a nationally important science asset by the Government Ministry of Science and Innovation. So what we have here in the New Zealand Arthropod Collection is a unique and primary source of information on New Zealand insects, mites and spiders. And represented are specimens from both man-modified and natural habitats throughout New Zealand. The New Zealand Arthropod Collection also acts as a repository for vouchers of um, species from surveys and also for newly introduced biological control agents and for newly intercepted species that are first recorded in, in New Zealand. Its use in helping protect our borders is often understated but is highly important. We're always looking in the collections when something new comes into New Zealand. Um, there was quite a recent example where um, a very keen amateur collector of moths uh, sent me a picture of, of something that he'd collected in his garden and which he suspected might be something that hadn't been recorded in New Zealand before but it was one of the silver Y group of moths and they're quite variable so um, I was able to borrow the specimen from him and by comparing it with ones in our collection I was able to determine that in fact it didn't fall within the range of variation of the known species in New Zealand and it was a new, a new incursion so we were able to tell NAF about it and uh, they were able to take it from there. At the moment I'm just looking through these different drawers of weevils looking for some threatened species that um, Doc has an interest in. So I have a list here of different weevils that I'm looking for and trying to um, just document how many of each species we've got and where they're from just so that Doc has an idea of, of um, where to go now with the threatened species. And the knowledge accrued here is available to the public. We process probably a couple of thousand of identification requests per year and also requests for information about uh, different species. Um, so a lot of the requests are from members of the public and also we get requests from other scientists and other CRIs and universities and things. So material is usually sent to us and we um, identify it and uh, provide information on the species. 
There is a substantial South Pacific collection held in trust for Pacific nations. In the tropics it's much more difficult to keep a collection under suitable conditions of low humidity and um, low, lowish temperature um, which are needed to preserve the specimens from uh, moulds and pests that would otherwise eat them. So because we are more ab easily able to, to keep specimens in the right conditions, we act as a repository for, for South Pacific material as well. And the same functions apply to that part of the collection. So if there are biosecurity worries um, from any, anywhere in the South Pacific, we can be consulted on those, we can use our collections and we're often identifying things for um, places like New Caledonia and Fiji and so on and, and so forth. 